All right, boys and girls. So um, today, I've got some things going on. So I figured I would show you probably one of my favorite ways to make baby back ribs. Um, now, that being said, I'm all for the long game, you know, um, that low and slow smoke, things like that. But sometimes, um, sometimes other ways are just better. And this is all just my opinion. So my favorite way for baby backs is more of a hot and fast grilled method. Now normally you'll do it over, um, you know, charcoal, things like that, uh, wood. But I think, um, uh, I think that the smoke fire will actually do one hell of a job um, because of, for one, the amount of smoke flavor you do get from it, you know, being a pellet grill, and the flavorizer bars, just this, just the setup and the design alone. I think this is gonna really, really be awesome. So um, these are more of a savory kind of thing. Um, the rub's probably not like what you would typically see on a, you know, barbecue rub, things like that. Um, you know, if you've been around at all with me, I'm not a big fan of sweet meat and, and all that stuff. Bearing it sauce, it's just not my thing. So these ones um, have more of a savory kind of rub on it. Um, they then will be basted as they cook in my uh, beer bourbon glaze. So um, these typically take around three hours, you know, um, give or take. Um, start with a higher temp, do a little flip, uh, bump the temp up a little more, do a little flip, and uh, finish them off just straight up grilling. Um, just gives that nice flavor and just that just that grilled flavor. And um, the baby backs really, really shine being cooked that way because um, they are a little bit leaner. Um, they are a little more, um, more porkier, I guess you would say. Um, spares, now I've done this with spares. Spares like the long game. Um, the Just the amount of fat that's in them, things like that. Spares just turn out better like that. Um, now you could do it, but it's just not the same. Um, I've tried it both ways. Baby backs have always been my favorite anyway, but this right here is a great way to cook it. So I figured I'd bring you guys along. Not to mention, when you have a crazy day, you don't want to babysit, you don't want to do anything. This is an awesome way to just be like, hey, we're having ribs tonight. And you don't have to start it first thing in the morning. You don't have to put them on at noon. You know what I mean? So let's do this. Here we got our baby backs. So first of all, we are just gonna membrane, remove it. I like to start here right in the center, pull it up on both sides. I know some guys like to leave the membrane on and you do you, you know what I mean? I do not. I find there's just no place in the chew I want for the membrane. So I'm gonna lift her up just like so. I've got my paper towel. Just like that. So now we have nice open meat ready ready for all that flavor. Do the same thing over here. Without ripping it. These ones are a little bit shorter so I don't have to come on from the other side. And again. Like so. All right, so now these, uh, these ones are a little bit ugly, so I'm just gonna do a, just a couple of, you know, quick trims. Anything that's hanging off, it's just stuff that's gonna, it's just gonna get in the way. It's gonna burn and all that other good stuff, so we don't need any of that. This, this bottom cud like this, you know, that's, that's not doing anything for us. So we're gonna get rid of that. Get rid of that. And this right here is actually just a bone fragment. Odd. So we are going to get rid of that. If I can find the end of the bone. There we go. Beautiful. This side over here. 
I don't typically mess around with this too much, but if I do see a, just a high concentration, I trim it down just a little bit. Because a lot of that is that nasty fat. It's not gonna render. See this right here? We don't wanna eat that. All these little stringies. We're gonna say bye-bye to that. And it really all depends on the ribs. Um, I've just noticed a lot from uh, the ribs from Sam's Club for some reason. They have a lot of that stuff on there. So um, Costco, not so much. So, I'm not saying one's better than the other. They both taste great, but I just find I have to do a lot less trimming when it comes to the Costco ones. So, all right, that's all we're doing. So I'm gonna start, oh, start on the bone side. And this right here is my savory. So it, these started out to be my salt and pepper ribs, but they've just kind of evolved from there. Um, this is a tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of quarter crack black pepper, a teaspoon of granulated onion, a teaspoon of granulated garlic, teaspoon of cayenne, and yes, a teaspoon of brown sugar. I know you never see me put sugar in my rubs because it burns, but in this case, the way I'm cooking them, um, it's such a small amount, it doesn't really, it just kind of adds a little balance to the, to the cayenne and to the savory components, as well as um, it helps with that caramelization. Now I use dark brown um, because more molasses, it's kind of got a, just a, you know, less sweet, more of a caramel, you know, just a deeper flavor. And it takes a little more for it to burn than the light brown sugar. So that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna go pretty liberal on these. And I'm prepping these a little bit early in the morning. So I'm actually going to uh, let them chill out in the fridge for a while um, through the day while I go about my business since I'm not gonna put them on until later. So I'm just gonna give them a light coat on the bone side. Try to get the edges. This doesn't take much. The uh, beer bourbon sauce, um, which I've made in a couple of videos, it's it's uh, it's evolved a little bit, I guess you would say. So, hold on a second. Let me let the dog in. Side here. I'm going to probably do two ways on this. I'm going to keep one just a straight up dry rub and the other I am going to uh, hit with the glaze. Um, I'm going to be spritzing with uh, a combination of beer, bourbon, just for its moisture. And you know, I mean, I typically wouldn't bother, but when you're cooking them hot and fast, you want some uh, some of that added moisture. Now I'm gonna have to whip up some more rub. So typically I only do a rack, but today I'm doing two because I wanted to do two ways. So let me whip up another batch. Okay. I whipped up another batch and I uh, got these all coated. Um, as you can see, you know, Pretty liberal on the top. Like I said, they're gonna sit for a little bit. So look at that color. It's a beautiful color, especially being such a simple rub. But uh, we're just gonna put them guys in the fridge and uh, I'm gonna let them go. It's, uh, I don't have my watch on. It's probably gonna be around, I don't know, four hours or so in the fridge. So they'll soak in real nice. I'm gonna, not gonna wrap them, not gonna cover them, nothing like that. Let the ribs dry out a little bit too. Helps with creating that bark. And uh, then we're gonna cook them. So. That's all I got.